Good morning, students. Today we will see the postpartum hemorrhage, that is the one of the obstetrical emergencies. By definition, it is the excessive bleeding from the genital tract after the birth of the child. Any amount of bleeding from or into the genital tract following the birth of the baby up to the end of viparium, which adversely affect the general condition of the patient, evidenced by rising pulse rate, falling blood pressure, and it is called as postpartum hemorrhage. Conventionally defined as the loss of blood more than 500 ml. It may be immediate, that means within 24 hours after delivery, or it may be second, that means after 24 hours, but within the period of preparium, that means 6 weeks or 42 days after delivery. Primary occurs within 24 hours after the delivery, loss of 500 ml or more from the genital tract within 24 hours of the birth of the baby. In, the, in minor cases, it may be between 500 to 1 liter but no clinical evidence of shock. Major degree more than 500 ml. The primary is again divided into third stage bleeding and true PPH. Secondary occurs after 24 hours within preparing that means 6 weeks or 42 days after delivery. It also called as delayed or late preparing hemorrhage. Blood loss after delivery of the baby that needs, that needs blood transfusion. Blood loss after delivery of the baby leading to a 10% drop in hemoglobin. Any amount of blood loss after delivery of the baby which alters the para vital parameters of the mother. Average blood loss during a vaginal delivery it may be around 500 ml and during a cesarean delivery it is around 1 liter. The primary postpartum hemorrhage. The causes may are divided into four, a tonic, traumatic, mixed or coagulopathy. Or you can remember it as 4T, that means torn, a tonic uterus. Trauma, that means in traumatic uterine rupture, perineal or vaginal cervical tear or any tear during an instrumental delivery. Tissue, tissue means retained placenta. Retain bits of placenta, abnormal placenta, membranes, all this comes as in the tissue. Thrombin, DI or any clotting, deformities, blood coagulopathies, DIC in abruption, sickle cell anemia, hemothalamic thalassemia, all these comes under thrombin. Atonic PPH. The causes of atonic PPH may, may be, will be grand multiparia. Grand multiparia, that is inadequate retraction, frequent adherent plus associated with anemia also. Over distinction of the uterus in case of polyhydramnioso twins, malnutrition and anemia, APH, prolonged labor, in prolonged labor there is poor retraction, infection, dehydration, analgesic drugs used during labor. Anesthesia, depth of anesthesia and anesthetic agents, initiation of augmentation of labor with oxytocin and discontinual after delivery, persistent uterine distension, malformation of the uterus, uterine fibroid, constriction ring or hourglass contraction formed in the upper uterine segment across the partially separated placenta or at the junction of upper uterine segment and lower uterine segment with fully separated placenta trapped in the upper uterine segment. Precipitate labor, mismanagement of labor that include to rapid delivery of the baby, preventing the uterine wall to adapt the diminishing content, premature attempt to deliver the placenta before it's separated, kneading and fiddling of the uterus, pulling the cord, manual separation of the placenta. Traumatic PPH, the reasons may be trauma to the genital tract, usually following operative delivery or after spontaneous delivery in case of means using forceps or vacuum. Combination of traumatic and atonic and retained membranes of placenta, blood coagulation disorders. How we can prevent it? Prevention start from antenatally. Antenatal prevention includes improvement of health status to keep the HB above 10 mg per deciliter. The HB is above 10 g per deciliter. It may not, if, even if a slight amount of bleeding may not affect the vital conditions of the mother. 
screen the high risk mothers who are prone to develop PPH. Blood grouping should be done earlier so that no time wasted for that during emergency. In running care prevention includes slow delivery of the baby, expert obstetric anesthesia, active management of third stage of labor, examination of placenta for its completeness, Temptation of kneading and fiddling of the uterus should be avoided in induced or accelerated labor. With oxygen, it should be continued one hour after delivery. Exploration of uterovaginal canal or for evidence of trauma. Observe the patient for two hours after delivery. Only if the uterus contracted, they should be shifted to the ward. Best to ensure hospital delivery and careful management of all patients who are judged to be susceptible to PPH. The Shivrat prophylaxis is the correct management of all stages of labor. Active management of third stage of labor. Patients should be closely monitored at least one hour after delivery. The priorities in of managing PPH include call for extra help, make a rapid assessment of women's condition. Find the cause of bleeding, stop the bleeding, stabilize or resuscitate the woman, prevent further bleeding. The management of third stage bleeding include palpate the uterus, ergometrin 0.25 mg, start an IV dextrose, IV drip, catheterize the bladder, so the sedation may be given. The true PPH massage the uterus, make it hard and contracted. Mothergin 0.2 mg is given, morphine 15 mg is given to decrease the anxiety of the patient to empty the bladder we have to put a catheter that means and examine the expelled placenta for its completeness management of the pph include communication resuscitation monitoring and investigation arrest the bleeding these four things are very important these four things has to be keep in mind first is the communication alert all professionals call experienced midwife specialist anesthetist alert blood bank alert one member of the team to record the events fluids drugs and vital signs communicate the patient and the family member with a clear information of what happening Management of true PPH, the principles are communication, resuscitation and monitoring and arrest the bleeding. Management call for extra help, put large tube or cannula, especially in the antiquibital fossa. Keep the patient flat and warm, blood for cross-matching, other diagnostic studies like CBC, platelet. Infuse rapidly 2 units of normal strength, 2 units of ox toxin should be given to the patient. Monitor heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, SpO2 and urine output. Actual management in case of atonic massage the uterus to make it firm. Methogen, ox toxin, police catheter, examine the plastid and membrane. Medical management of PPH. If it is hypotonic uterus, palpate the uterus, see if it is contracting. Expression of any clots in the uterus, elimination of distant bladder, continuous IV infusion of 10 to 40 units of ox toxin added to 1000 ml of ringer lactin. If it is failed to contract, additional 2.5 mg of ergometrin, 0.2 mg of carboprost and PG, Dynaprost 120 mg, vaginal or rectal suppository or rectal 800 to 1000 microgram administer. Rapid administration of crystalloid solutions or blood or blood products or both will needed to be restored the woman's intravascular volume. Oxygen can be given by non rebirthra mask to enhance the delivery, oxygen delivery to the cells. In drilling catheter is usually inserted to monitor the urinary output ultimately to make sure the vital organ perfusion. Laboratory studies usually include CBC with platelet count, fibrinogen, fibrin split products, plate means partial thromboplastin time. If the bleeding is still persists, we have to go for the step two. Step two uterus is explored under GA for retained products of placenta or membrane. Step three. We have to massage the uterus with bimanual compression. The, the right hand is glo the gloved right hand inserted into the uterus and with the other hand, left hand kept abdominally. And the uterus is manually compressed between these two hands. It has to be held for sometimes 10 to 15 minutes to see the, ble the bleeding is stopped. The uterine massage is failed, then with the uterus has to uterine tamponite 5 meter. Ghost piece has to be soaked in the um, antiseptic solution and the uterus has to be packed with the tamponade and this, with the soaked ghost piece and also it has to be removed after 24 hours. Step 5 if again the if it is not stopping surgical methods like ligation of uterine artery, ligation of ovarian and uterine artery anastomosis, internal iliac artery ligation, and geographic arterial embolization. 
If what measures fail, if the family complete, they have now wishes, now much to save, to save the life of the mother, hysterectomy can be done. Then is it another name of the operation that is hemostatic brace suturing, that is B lynch or suture. It is an effective technique to control severe pH, reduce the need for hysterectomy. Bleeding with a contracted uterus, manual inspection of the vagina, perineum, uterus, cervix, and rectum. The laboratory studies like HB, hematocrit, prothrombin time, partial thromboplasty in time should be checked. Treatment should be depend upon source of bleeding. Lacerations are surely switched. Hematomas may be managed with observations, ligation of vessel or evacuation. Food and blood replacement are necessary. Traumatic PPH uterus has to be well contracted, explored under general anesthesia after placenta is expelled. Hemostatic sutures are placed. Complications of PH include blood loss, shock, death, septicemia, anemia, and Sheehan syndrome. Secondary PPH The causes of secondary PPH include retained bits of placenta or membrane, genital tract infection, separation of slug over the deep cervical or vaginal laceration, endometriosis and subinvolution of the placental site, infected fibroid, chorioangioma, subacute inversion of the uterus, secondary hemorrhage from gaping of the cesarean wound due to infection. Bleeding may be slight, but profuse bleeding also can occur. Signs of infection is evident. Uterus is enlarged due to subinvolution. Retain placental tissue, fibroid, and choriocarcinoma. ESG is useful in detecting the cause of bleeding in most cases. Uterine cavity should be explored under GA. Curettage will remove the placental tissue and reveal choriocarcinoma. Antibiotics will be required to control the infection. Profuse, uncontrollable bleeding requires blood transfusion. Bilateral ligation of internal iliac artery and hysterectomy may have to be done to control the bleeding. Secondary PPH following LSES is invariably due to dehiscence of scar caused by uterine infection. Treatment is by laparotomy, suturing so the scar or hysterectomy. One of the rare complications of the PPH PPH, APH, it is the Sheehan syndrome. It is a rare condition which follows excessive and prolonged PPH, APH, uterine rupture and acute inversion of uterus. It is the duration of hemorrhage and shock that is more important. When duration and severity of shock are combined, the incidence of this syndrome rises. Prolonged hemorrhage and shock lead to anterior pituitary necrosis through thrombosis of its vessels. When 90% of anterior pituitary gland destroyed, Sheehan syndrome results. Postpartum secondary amenorrhea, failure of lactation, hypothyroidism, adrenal failure, and disturbance in carbohydrate metabolism. Minor degree of damage result in hypothyroidism and oligomenorrhea. Thank you for listening. If you have any comments, please let me know.